This time on the Ultimate Touring Bike, I'll be taking you guys at home through what racks I use for bicycle touring. For my front rack, this is made by a company called Boyer, spelt B-O-R-Y-U-E-H. These are highly recommended by myself. They are of a high grade aircraft grade aluminium and feature a one set frame all the way around with very, very good welds and lugs. As you can see, this features a traditional triangular style frame mount at the front, although the mounts to the frame itself are actually completely different. You can hold your panniers quite snugly on here and they won't come off in any hurry at all. This top plate up here, I normally have a camera bag on or my sleeping mat with all my stuff in it, ready to go camping if I don't have panniers on the sides at all which is very handy so I've always opted to go with these style mounts and having it in uh, all in one frame that's absolutely ideal for my needs on the side here I normally strap a couple of camouflage military pouches with my waterproof trousers gloves and accessories and stuff like that which I need to grab quickly if it starts raining and on the opposing side I normally strap with velcro a first aid kit or something like that just so I can grab it quickly when I'm out on the road. On the rear of my bike, as you can see, is a Bontrager Touring Rack. This is actually a fairly expensive rack at roughly £35 here in the United Kingdom, matching the price of the front one. Both racks I got off eBay if you're wondering, so check out the links in the description below. My favourite feature of these racks are the lower bar here. You can move your panniers off of this top bar and put them on the lower bar thus hugging the road a bit more and it's a lower centre of gravity to keep you balanced while out on the road. Once your panniers have been lowered to this bottom rail here, you can always put a big dry bag on for instance, or like me, a map case and a couple of water bottles, just to keep you hydrated while out on the road. As you can see I've also attached a GoPro mount on the rear of the bike, which is very handy for getting behind shots, whether you're in towns and cities for just your safety in general, or whether you're doing videos like myself for YouTube or blog posts online and need the shots that matter most. Additionally, if you have a racing bike, you can also get a thin rack like this made by Torte. It can easily do up and undo around thin bike frames and tricky brakes. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments, questions or feedback, please leave it in the comments box below this video. Plus give it a like on your way down. Till next time, ride safe and I hope you find peace.